Hello Horizon. This is a quick lesson on how to use watercolors to paint your clay. So you can see here's some examples. This is an example that was a clay medallion done and it just has a real blue, very watery blue um, stripe kind of across. You can even see some of the watercolor lines. Um, and, and then the watercolor seeps into the stamp marks really well. So that's the idea. You do not have to do the back. Um, you can write on the back with a marker, and that's what we'll do. But we will just watercolor the top to kind of color it, and then we're going to coat it. So you guys don't have to worry about that. We will coat it, make it shiny. Here's another one that's been done with red. Um, you can play with how much paint to put on your brush. If you put a lot of paint, it'll be a darker color. If you put just a little bit, it'll look a little bit lighter, maybe like a pink in this case with the red. Here's one with brown that was done just kind of, you know, kind of painted across. This this one has not been sprayed. So, um, you know, you can see what that looks like if it's not sprayed. It's not, it won't coat and, and look as shiny. Um, so this is, this one hasn't been sprayed, but it's just been watercolored. I'm going to show you guys how to do that with this medallion here with the sun. It's really easy um, and simple. You just get your watercolors over here. You guys will have a tray, watercolors. And let's see if I can get them on the camera. Okay. And then you're just going to pick a color. I, I kind of think orange would be really cool inside the sun. So I'm going to just do a little bit of orange. And what I do is just a little bit of water, a couple drops in there. And it's kind of basically on my brush. You know, you can see it. And just very simply just kind of lay it in there and see how it immediately soaks in the clay. It's really that fun. You just kind of outline your lines like that. You get a little bit more. You don't need lots of water. This isn't something you just slop, slop on. You actually kind of carefully use your fingers and your brush to just kind of paint that in. Um, man, this is turning out really cool. I love, I love painting the clay, especially when it soaks in like this with the watercolor. It's like a stain. So when, when you do ceramics, if you get older and you do some more advanced ceramics, you'll find out that not only do you do glazing and, and, and painting, but you do this thing called staining. That's what this is kind of emulating. Staining is where you do the stain on the clay first and then you paint over it and it does cool things. So um, sometimes you just wanna um, make sure that you're filling in those holes with water. Make sure water goes in those holes if you have holes so that they fill all the way in. You can see that mine is, it's doing good. I'm gonna change my color in the water. So I'm just changing my color again. I'm gonna do yellow this time on the top. I'm gonna to coat the whole thing with, with yellow and just see how that looks. Yep. And this time I'm just brushing right over the orange. It's kind of mixing with the orange. I think that's neat. Don't worry about it. Just have fun with what your paint turns out to be. Watercolor is never meant to be like a photograph. It's meant to be kind of dreamy and watery. So just you have to let it blend and have fun with it and see what happens, kind of like a science experiment. Um, put a little bit more paint on my brush. It's making it a little bit more yellow that way. And then you can see, it looks pretty cool. If you feel like there's a spot that's not covered, you can just add some more paint on your brush, which I have, and you just paint in there. You just go ahead and paint in there. I'm gonna bring that orange back a little bit, I think. A little bit in there. Yep. And it'll dry. It'll spread in there and dry. And that's pretty much it. It, it, it really is th that simple. Any questions, ask the parents or the teachers in your room and we'll help you out. When you're done, you wanna put this back on your paper with your name on it and on the card so that we can keep it. Um, thank you.